Okay, you are welcome to this live telecast with uh, Taiwo Balogun. And uh, tonight, I have a wonderful publisher and experienced publisher that I will be hosting tonight. And this program is a special program. In fact, it's a special webinar that we had to put together as a palliative measure or our own contribution towards uh, relieving the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. So tonight, by the grace of God, I have a guest in the house. I know some of you knows him. He's an author. Uh, he's a, yes, he's an author. He's a publisher and he has, he has published over a hundred books. Wow. Over a hundred Okay. Books. Welcome back to this webinar and uh, tonight i have a wonderful guest a wonderful uh, brother and then uh, he is an experienced publisher you see one of the things that i realized that is going to make wave after this pandemic is being an author yes to be a thought leader uh, to be an authority and i realized that the word auto is taken from the word authority. So if you want to become an authority in your area of specialization, either as a pastor or is, as a business person or whoever you are, it is better for you to get ready now to be a best-selling author. And uh, what we'll be sharing tonight are seven common mistakes that authors make and how you can avoid them. How you can avoid them so while we are waiting for the guest lecturer <laughs> i used to call him guest lecturer while we are waiting for him i want you to invite your family members invite your friends and then um, share this video like and comment let them know that yes something great is about to happen this is one of the webinars where so many people charge to share some secret that you'll be learning uh, from this program tonight and but i don't want you to take this for granted and that is why i want you to please help us to share it let others know because this is uh, one of our contribution in helping humanity to relieve the effect of covid19 yes to relieve the effect of covid19 so by god's grace i know that some people some authors will emerge from this program tonight and if you are an author i am sure that this program will help you to become a best selling author best selling author yes so you will get value for your time so you just stay tuned i uh, won't waste your time it, uh, it's going to be very very informative and educative with my guest and uh, I am sure that he's warming up. He's seriously warming up. <laughs> In fact, he can't, he can't wait to join us because uh, this is something that he has been looking up to, has been expect, uh, working on how to be on the show for some days now. He's excited. He was, oh, he was excited when I told him that I'd like to host him on this show. By God's grace, it's going to be continuous. And I'll be bringing up a uh, lot of authors and uh, publishers that will be sharing information with us, helping us to dish out that potential in us. Yes, you, you see, one of the things that you will enjoy as an author is it, you get, get royalty, just write it once and you'll be paid forever. You'll be paid for life. Write it once and you will be paid for life. So I am connecting with my guest right now and uh, I hope you are getting ready because uh, this man is ready, he's ready to dish out, he's, he's more than ready, he's more than ready. So um, I want you to go ahead again, go ahead and begin to share this video, share this video let your friends and your family members know that we are learning tonight and uh, one of the things that we want to learn is uh, seven or uh, seven common mistakes that authors make and how you can avoid it either you are an author or an aspiring 
author. Like I told you that if you want to become an authority in your area of specialization, in your field, in your career, you need to learn to write book. Not just book, good books. And this man that I'll be bringing up is an experienced publisher. In fact, he has published over 100 books with result. I can I don't want to advertise for anybody apart from introducing him, but I can I know some prominent Nigerians, <laughs> prominent Nigerians that he has published their books. So, uh, shortly I'll be bringing him up and I hope um you will pick your you get your pen and your and your and your notebook to begin to write because this man is loaded is loaded so join me in bring in welcoming mr adekola oyatebe good evening sir good evening how my chaplain <laughs> how are you good doing evening, sir, sir. <laughs> How are you doing, sir? I'm doing very great. We are glad I'm to have great, you. Sir. We are glad to have you. So, viewers, this is Mr. Kola Oyatekbe. He is the creative director of FRL Productions. In fact, this man, I've known him for over a decade now. And uh, he's one of those men that I respect so much. He's resourceful. He's resourceful. So, get your pen and your notebook as we hand over to him mr oyatekbe you have the digital podium now thank you sir you're welcome sir i want to say a big thank you to you uh, my chaplain <laughs> welcome, thank you so sir. much for this opportunity you're welcome sir uh, to share with this tribe and i pray that the, the work you are doing in making impact in the life of people, the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Also, I want to thank all the viewers, people that are online now, uh, that take time out of no time to come over to this training. And I believe that you will have a great things. Even in this training, you are going to be impacted. So thank you for having me. Chaplain. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome, sir. All right. Uh, the tax before me this uh, evening is just to just tell you some common mistakes that auto makes and how to avoid them. Uh, in my course of uh, working with authors for over a decade, I've been able to see some of the things that make an author, whether an aspiring author, whether a first-time author, or even the real author, what make many to be successful? Mm. And other things that make others to fail. In mm. fact, we've been able to see how some are even making money with their books, while others, they are not even making a pen. Wow. In fact, a lot of people, before the book comes out of production everything has been sold out really we've seen many authors like that yeah wow wow and we have some authors that they just pile up everything maybe after the whole thing they just pile up the book hmm. it doesn't go to the next stage wow so there are a lot of things that that have that are some factors that lead to all these things so but in this very training i'm going to share with us there are many mistakes, but I've just shared some of seven common ones that if you can overcome this, or oh, you will have a good book, mm. you will have a sellable book, but wow. you'll be a success as an author. As I'm trying to share my screen. Okay, sir. So seven common mistakes author make and how to afford them. Okay, sir. So the first one, I'm, you know, the, the, the mistakes are not really in one particular order. It can be just, we're just going to run through how the stuff will be. Okay. So the first mistake is not knowing the purpose of your book. Wow. Not <laughs> knowing the purpose of your book. You see, there are many people... They just want to write book. Just ask them, you want to write book? Mm. What is the purpose of your book? 
Well, I just have, I just, I, I just want to write book. Mm. And let me tell you, if you are starting from that stage and you don't know the purpose of your book, that's the first way to fail. Mm. The first way to fail. Mm. Before you write your book, be it mini book or booklets or digital book or any type of book, you should know why you are writing it. Mm. In the event that you don't realize that, your readers won't know why they should read your book. Mm. So a book ought to have a purpose and a reason to exist. Okay. Mm. In knowing your purpose, you have to ask yourself some questions. Why do you want to write your book? Mm. Do you want to write your book to grow your business? Is it to make an impact in the life of people or your environment or where you find yourself? Now, is it that you want to entertain people? Another one is it to show pride. There are many authors, all they want is just people to call them an author. So mm. they begin to tell their families and friends, oh, I'm an author, I'm an author. So some people, they just want to show pride. Yes, I'm an author. That's the purpose of some people. Mm. Now, do you hope to change the world? Do you want to make a difference? Mm. Do you want to change a mind of people? Maybe there's a particular thing you want to change the mind of people that this is the way things are. Do you want to be heard? Do you want to be noticed? Do you want to add to your credibility? Do you want to make an impression? Or you want to make a point? Mm. Do you want to share point of view? These are the things you need to just sit down before you even start to put pen on paper. Mm. These are the questions you need to ask. Answer this question honestly. Oh, definitely you are ready to write your book. The first one is, what are you trying to say to your reader? What do you want your reader to remember after they put down your book? Why do you want your readers to read your book? Mm. If you can honestly answer these three questions, I'm telling you, you're on your way to success. Mm. So if you can understand the goal and the purpose of your book, you'll be able to write a better book and reach more readers effectively. So this is the first common mistake mm. that authors, even some people that have they've done one or two books, they are making. The mm. second one is no proper editing or proofreading of your books. Mm. In our company, whenever I want to do any job for a client, we ask them first, hello, is the manuscript ready? Have you done your editing and proofreading? But some people don't even think, I've written this book. What is editing for? There's but some no people need, don't know that. There's no need for editing. There's no need for editing. <laughs> yeah, that's how some people think that mm. Oh, yeah, let me just correct the word is correct the spelling. The book is ready. But it's that's is no no. In fact, that's one of the first way to failure. Mm. So um many people don't really don't even know the difference between editing and proofreading. They just think it's the same thing. Mm. A professional editor is different from a proofreader. I think yeah. I think you need to say that again so that and then also uh, help us to differentiate. Too. No, I, I would differentiate that. I said that there's a difference between editing okay. and proofreading. Okay. So because many authors will think that uh, there's no because if editor come now, editor editor is just the major bulk of the whole thing. Okay. Before before I go in, now okay. you know there are some times that I know you've read it that people say uh, everybody have a book in him or her. You have a story to tell. You just tell, just take a book uh, a pen, begin to write what is in your head, begin to write, begin to write. Yeah. Now the is the editor that will do the professional work on your book. In fact, you can bring out rubbish sometimes. By the time you pamper the whole thing, redress the whole thing, you will not be looking at yourself as, sorry, am I the one that uh, write this? That's the work of the editor. Okay. That's how editor. So I, I will differentiate the two. Okay. Now, sir. there's a saying in publishing world that edit or regret. If you don't edit it, you will regret it. So the most important investment you can make for your book are professional editing and proofreading. And most of the time, many authors are unsure of the differences. So uh, what's the meaning of editing and proofreading? Editing involves making changes 
and suggestions that will improve the overall quality of your writing, particularly in relation to language use and expression. Okay. Proofreading, on the other hand, is the process of correcting surface errors in okay. writing, such as grammatics, spelling, punctuation, and other language and mistake. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, sir. But is there... Are a, you with me? I'm with you, sir. Is there a way... Okay. One, because I know a lot of authors don't want to do double work. They don't want to pay double money. They say, ah, why would I be paying uh, a the editor and also a proofreader? Can I get someone to just do the two the two jobs? Is it possible? Uh, it is first, very, very possible to do the editor and also be a good proofreader. Okay, because a good, a good editor can also be a proofreader. A good proofreader can also be, be a, a proofreader. Okay, yeah. sir. Okay, sir. In fact, proofreading is even if I, you yourself you can you can even proofread somebody's. Okay. In fact, a lot of people is proofreading they are doing. They are not doing editing. Okay. Please let me let me let me check this book. Maybe edit this book. And depending on look at ah, this punctuation, you didn't do it well. Uh, this a uh, uh, put a, a punctuation. This punctuation is not right this way. Uh, this language, this this grammatical error. Now, proofreader work is different. Mm. So a proofreading is just the is small part of editing. But mm -hmm. it's editing that involves the making of change. Have you ever given uh, a book is a uh, fifteen thousand word count to an editor, and by the time they bring the book back to you, fifteen thousand word count has become ten thousand word count. Wow! What happened is that the woman or man has cut off all the unnecessary thing that you are putting in your book. Wow. That's the work of editor. That's wow. the work of editor. Now, these are some of the key questions that an editor will consider when editing a piece of writing. The first okay. one is, have you chosen proper word to express your idea? Okay. Maybe there's something you want to say, but you are not expressing it in the way you, 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 you are expressing it. This work of an editor. Okay. Is the tone appropriate for the audience? Okay. Do you use too many words? Have you used gender language appropriately? We're mm. supposed to use uh, is for for men, for men. You are using for women. So mm. these are some of the, the questions that editor will consider while doing this your work. Now, mm. proofreader, that this one we consider. They are considering is there any spelling errors? Yes. Are these three, are the full stop, mass, colon, semicolon? They use correctly. Mm. Does that sound like Another uh, Mr. Structure. Mr. Yakube, yeah. it's like yeah. your your line is yeah. breaking. Your your audio is breaking. I think is internet okay. connection. Uh so that we can hear you clearly because you know this is a very important uh, trading that uh, I know a lot of people are waiting for. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. I think the the challenge there is um internet connection, but we can hear you. Okay, you can you can go on, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, let, let, let me go on. So, so you have quotation marks and apostrophe uh, uh, being used appropriately. Okay, sir. Also, are there any double spacing, particularly after full stop? So, mm. those are the thing, the questions that a proofreader will consider while doing the piece of your work. Okay. The third one is this one is even is another mistake that can that can cost you a lot. In fact, it can cost you a lot of money, wasted money. Mm. It's not hiring professionals for your book. No, there are mm. some people, they just believe that, oh, I can cut costs. But if you believe that your book you want to do is a major, is a major project, in fact, the next thing you're supposed to do is just hire professionals for your books. I think I, I, I think I need to speak the mind of the viewers from this at this okay. point. Some right. people, you see, they word professional. You know, a lot there are different types of uh, authors and aspiring, yeah, and aspiring authors. Okay. Some okay. people feels that um, book project involves a lot of money. So now Not telling really. them, now telling them to go and look for a professional. <laughs> no, so you know they are they are always afraid of all those type of things. I used to be like that before I I understand the business of publishing. 
So, okay. I, I, can you help us with how to? I think I know you still get there. I I hope you are still you still okay. share your slide with us. It's, it's, it's my next slide. Okay. So that okay. I, I I want you to understand what I mean by being professional. Okay, sir. Right now, on, sir. Who is a professional? Okay. A person competent or skilled in a particular activity or field. We need now, we need, let we need you to you. share to share your screen to share your slide, sir. Are you not seeing the slide? No, sir. Ah, uh, I didn't even touch it. Oh, sorry for that. Okay, sir. Okay. Not hiring, the, the third common mistake is not hiring professionals for your book. Now, when I mean professional, it's not that uh, you are looking for one uh, professor or somebody that has uh, gotten a PhD in uh, a particular field. But what I'm trying to say is in the next page where I define a professional as a person competent or skilled in a particular activity or field. Mm. Let me give an example. Now, I'm a, I'm a publisher and I'm into production of books. Okay. Sir. But still, I can design. I can design book cover. I can design layout. And let's assume I get, uh, I just receive a contract of about a million naira. Or even, it's not, not up to that. Let's say, 500,000 contract to do a book for somebody. Hmm. Now, it will not be okay for me to now go and design that book for myself. When I have some people, when they wake up in the morning, that's their job. It's book design. Okay. That's their job. When they are sleeping, it's book design. Hmm. Okay, like you, sir. Yes, sir. You are a forex trader for over 15 years. That's where, how I knew, know you. Yes. Now, sir. somebody is now starting you cannot compare your experience with mine absolutely so that's what i mean by being a professional mm. there are people that are in that they are doing that work every day so if i can I, normally I'm, i i can't really call myself a graphic artist because i don't i don't sit and hit on i mean on system designing mm. i see other things i do but i have some friends that are graphic designer when that's you wake their, them up is when they that's see their that's profession. their call. Mm. That's their profession. So that this is what I what I mean by a competent uh a, by by a professional. It's just okay. a competent or skilled person in a particular activity or field. Not that okay. you are getting a one complaint, some I mean uh, the way people think that is money. In fact, money is not even that as professional that they will give you your budget. Mm. It's only that, that most of most of the time we don't ask. Okay. There are people like that. As in so, budget, budget in what sense, sir? Well, budget in the, in the area of maybe, okay, you think that, oh, look at this book cover. Ha! Huh. This book cover, the way I'm looking at it, oh, maybe it's going to be like 30K for product, uh, for designing. Okay. And you, you, you are not asking the designer. How maybe much? at the end of everything, the designer now say, oh, it's just 10,000 naira. Hmm. You it's your perspective that make it to be Okay. But I like that you are the one that put value on it yourself. Yeah. So those are the kind of thing uh, when you talk about professionals. Okay, sir. Now okay. these are professional services authors can look for. The first one is cover design. Okay. I know there are a lot of uh, what do you call it a lot of uh, training out there that says you can design your book on your phone. You can mm. <laughs> this thing with but mobile with I mobile app. Those, yeah, mobile app. You, just, you can design. Canva is also on a mobile app. You can design your book cover on mobile apps and everything like that. But do you believe that when you want to do the real thing, mm. you need to go all the way for it? There is different. In fact, if you do design a cover design on a mobile app, now what is the size? Let me start about the size. The size mm -hmm. of what we bring out. The right. size is going to be in KB. KB. Yeah. Look it. Can we produce book with that? No mm. way. There's no way you can produce book with that. So you get a professional service for authors. I mean, cover design is one of the uh, one of it. Another one is interior layout. Now, mm. have you ever opened a book and you just like the way they lay all those texts? Mm. There are people that are professional in that area. Wow. In fact, I'll be, that's one of my core. In, in lay, laying, laying out laying of books. books. Yeah. yeah, I book, lay, book I lay out. all the all the books I've been producing, I lay them myself. 
you are Jay in so, that area now. You are guru in that yeah. area. Yeah. <laughs> so I just and one of the one of the reason is this. Uh, some years back, I, I I found out that you begin to uh, uh, give it out for somebody to do for, for you. Now, and because personally, if I take the job of my client, I'm always the first person to read through. Mm. As I'm designing, I even edit. Okay. I edit personally. It's mm. just part of the uh, ad hoc service for you. So I, I begin to see some correction that I even called uh, uh, Mr. Otto. What you say in this thing, this thing is not right. So mm. I, I prefer lean now because let me tell you something. To produce a good book and a bad book, is the same cost. Ah, uh, absolutely, sir. Yes, yes, you are correct. To produce a good book and, and uh, a bad book, a bad book okay. is more expensive because <laughs> oh, it's now more expensive. By yeah. the time you now go into it and yes. begin to what to start all over again. Absolutely. So that's why I tell I tell some of my clients we don't need to reach rush this thing. Mm. Printing or book production is a process. Yeah. Give editor time to do. Their work. Hmm. Cover designer, give him or her time to design. Hmm. So interior layout is another service. Okay. Another one is editing. I think we've talked about that initially as a yes. topic. Also, author's website. Hmm. We're still going to talk more about that also in this in the subsequent uh, mistakes. Okay. Another one that's marketing. Hmm. Trailers. Ghostwriting. Okay. Even the printer. You need to, you need the service of professional. Mm. For example, in ghostwriting, let me just say about it. Some people think, you know, uh, out of all authors generally, in fact, most best selling authors are not the one that write the book themselves. Say, that, even say that again, sir. Say that an again. An author sir. and a writer. Mm. Say okay. that again, sir. Say As that again. most best-selling authors mm. are not the ones that write their books. Wow. There's a difference between a writer and a pop, an, and author. A, an, an author. Author okay. is different from writing. You know, when you talk about author, it's like authority on a particular thing. Yes. You can gather. The only thing an author will do is that they know, okay, they know your story. Mm. We have your outline. This is what your book to be about. And mm. somebody will now use your story to write for you. Okay. There are many people they don't even have that time. Tell them to pick their take pen and begin to write for one year. They mm. will not be able to bring anything out. Mm. It's not their fault. But there are some people. I have some editors around me. In fact, just say something to them, and before you know it, they've already written books about pages. Wow. I say, God, this is wow. a gift. Some people are gifted in that area. In ghost writing. In ghost writing. Awesome. In fact. Most of those books that are best, okay, okay. Most of uh, books like uh, like John Maxwell books, they have a particular team working yeah, right. with that book. Wow, it's team, team, mm, mm. maybe it's team that take the speak uh, is speaking engagement. They know uh -huh. his thoughts. They barely uh -huh. work with him. They and know they the just story. convert it to books, and they just convert it to books. Wow. So that's why they said that everybody can write books. Uh, and I think that is a strategy that uh, some of our pastors should also be looking into because so many pastors, they don't want to, they don't want other people to write for them. They will tell you that I receive it from heaven. This thing is Holy <laughs> Ghost inspired. It has to be the yeah. way it is. No, <laughs> it's true. It's true. No, that's, no, you know, majorly most pastors, especially pastors that are thorough with Bible school, it is part of the course they do. Mm. In Bible school, no, maybe those pastors that go for Bible school about four or five years, they they must write mm. because we prepare someone. Yes, and so a lot of way, pastors have have books in them. Every Sunday they are they are, they are writing, they are in writing. Fact, they have someone. content every Sunday. Every mm. time they preach, any any message you preach, you prepare for is a is a is a book on its own. Wow. Mm -hmm. We are still going to get to. Okay, I remember one of my, one of the first author I work with is my brother, Doctor Oyatebe. Okay. So then. this this pastor, what happened is that, and everybody can even learn from this. One of the flag that your book will sell is this: when you preach a message, 
It may not even be for only pastors, even if you're a speaker okay. or you're a thought leader, you speak on a particular topic, whether on a platform, whether in your church, whether on Facebook, whether on a WhatsApp group, and people are falling on each other over what you said. Maybe what, or, or, about that post or about that message. Let me tell you, that's an indication that people will buy that book if you write it. Wow. So, my brother... That's the first book, How to Treat Others. He preached that book in, 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 our, in our church that time. And a lot of people are hurting for it. You know, people are buying the tapes. And, ah. So I did somebody just say, ah, why not throw this thing to the book? That's yeah. how we, you know, bring the whole thing, bring the, just give a ghostwriting. You know, he has his own uh, write-up, outline, the way the message is about. They transcribe the message from tape to manuscript. Editor work on it, and part we sold that book. Yeah. So next one is uh, we are to get professionals. Okay, we are to get these people. First thing you can get them locally around around you. First strategy is when you pick somebody's book that you like what is done in it. Some people they write it there, cover design by so so. Just contact the person and talk to the person. Okay, you mean uh, we uh, some of those books that they publish here. Uh, they yeah. used to write the designer. Yeah. Okay, okay, all right. Yeah, you can. There are some books like that. Those there are some authors. They just tell you, I don't want people to know people that work for my book. Well, to me, it's a personal thing. <laughs> right, absolutely. So you can get them locally. Yeah, you can get them locally here. You can okay. search on Google. You will see people that have done a great work here in Nigeria. We even have a, a lot of great hands in this. In this country, in fact, most of them are on this foreign freelancing site. Okay. In fact, most of the books I've done is done here in Nigeria. Oh, good. So, if you can go to Fiverr.com, yeah, where you can get the strategy about it, I think it's because of just the internet connection. Or I say, let me just demonstrate something for us. But it's very, it's a simple thing. Go to Fiverr.com, just try and. Uh, uh, create an account with, with them. Whatever you are looking for is very simple. Type it there. Maybe book cover. When you search it, you will see we are to get professionals. Okay. Now, we are to get these people. First thing, you can get them locally around you. First strategy is when you pick somebody's book that you like what is done in it. Some people, they write it there, cover design by so-so. Just go over there, contact the person and talk to the person. Okay, you mean some of those books that they publish here, yeah, they yeah. used to write the yeah. designer. Okay, okay, all right. Yeah, you can, there are some books like that. Those, there are some authors, they just tell you, I don't want people to know people that work for my book. Well, to me, it's a personal thing. <laughs> right, so, you can get them locally. Yeah, you can get them locally here. You can okay. search on Google, you will see people that are that are that have done a great work here in Nigeria. We even have a, a lot of great hands in this country. But most of them are on this foreign freelancing site. Okay. Most of the books I've done is done here in Nigeria. Oh, good. So if you can go to Fiverr.com, yeah. Where you can get the strategy about it, I think it's because of just the internet connection. Or I say let me just demonstrate something for us. But it's very it's a simple thing. Go to Fiverr.com, create an account with them. Whatever you are looking for is very simple. Type it there. Maybe book cover. When you search it, you will see maybe over 200 freelancers that want to design your cover for you. The only thing you just go and look for, those people that are having good rating. You will see them, maybe five rating. Even some, you see them that they are even having a lot of job on them. And then you will see the kind of book they've designed. Okay. Just have that contract with them. Out of all these three, Fiverr is the one that is so cheap that you can get, you can even get as far as $5 okay. on it. Okay. You can get Upwork.com. It's not only cover design you can get. Every service that I talk about. About how to author yeah. books. Okay. How to author books. The, in fact, the, on Fiverr is numerous. Book mm. trailer. People that will write your book for you are also there. But you just have to be careful by the time you, you just see the, uh, the preview and testimony of the way people talk about it there. So okay. that you can just do that. Okay. So those are the area we have to get the professional. Okay, sir. All right, the next mistake 
is not writing the book your reader wants. Mm. In fact, uh, this is another thing. If you want to make money as an author, I believe everybody have a message. Mm. But your message is there. But two, are you writing for yourself? There was a time somebody called on me. He said, Carla, I want to print a book, about 5,000 copy. Ah. I said, well, if you print 5,000 copy, I will make, mo- I will, I will make money. But <laughs> 5,000. I just as 5,000 copy. I said, ah, so, sir, is this your first, second, or third book? He said, this is my first book. Ah. Hmm. Are you a pastor or you are a thought leader that you have a lot of people followers. on your platform? Yeah. Followers. He said, no. Uh-uh. Then, how do you want to sell 5,000 books? I can produce it all, then I will make money. <laughs> but sir, the message you have is still within yourself. Hmm. Have you given it to your friends and family so that they tell you that ah, this book will sell you? Hmm. But why do you write the book for yourself and you believe people will read it? Hmm. So you are not writing the book your reader wants. There are some things that you need. I'll tell some of the factors, some of the things needed so that you'll be sure that people will buy your book. Hmm. People will buy your book because you can't write the book for yourself. You cannot write the book for yourself. In fact, it's not about yourself. It's about what? It's about people. One of the major challenges of publishing your book is making sure you know who you are writing for and what they want to read. As an author, you have to acknowledge that the whole process works better as it's far more enjoyable if you have more readers for your book. Mm-hmm. In fact, if you have more readers for your book, I'm telling you, mm, you will have successful book. Sorry for cutting you, sir. So it okay. is advisable no, no, yeah. to know your audience and also it's create advisable. and create a community community yeah. because uh, one of the uh, the challenges that i see that authors have is selling their books it is not enough mm-hmm. to author or publish book but mm-hmm. the next thing is how do you sell or market your books market your book i've seen someone that produced i think about over a thousand copies and then thinking the strategy to use was to use seminar to sell it and in the course of promoting the seminar people did not come in fact the seminar was as Can you cheap, see? as cheap as anything the, yeah so people did not attend the seminar and the book is a good book valuable one with mm. valuable content in fact that Can book before now, the, pre- the author has been talking about how people should go online, how pastors, churches, ministries should go or online. And the lot of pastors did not listen to that book, even the seminar. Mm. But now, look at what has mm. happened. So, it is mm. something that authors or aspiring authors need to look into. Like Mr. Oyatik, we mm. said, before you author any book, you need to know mm. your audience. You need to... Yeah. Uh, uh, create a community of people that will read it people. and also be able yeah. to buy the book. Right on, sir. We are enjoying right. you. Yeah, to, to, to know what your readers want, you just have to do something simple. Hmm. Ask them questions. Great, great, great. Let, let me write, yeah, wait yeah, for me, pa, wait for <laughs> me, sir. Let me write that. We should ask them questions. Ask them questions. Hmm. Opinion hmm. polls on your social media. Hmm. If you have an email list, ask them. In fact, you can ask them. We know that you are a specialist in relationship. Ask your audience, what kind of book would right. you like to read at this time? Wow. Ask them, and I'm telling you, people will answer you. Or mm. even if you have about two or three topics you want to talk about, do a poll. Mm. And you will see that majority of people will take a particular topic. And that's mm. how you know that, okay, if out of the, about 500 people I have, 300 is taking the first one, so that means that you know that that book is going to sell. Absolutely. Let me appreciate. Is, let me you, appreciate our viewers uh, that are commenting. Pastor Ebenezer Oyedeji, all the way from United Kingdom, sir. All those your messages, you need to bring it out now. This <laughs> man that is talking here is the principality of book publishing in Nigeria. So you need to connect with him. His phone number is on this on this video. Right on, sir. <laughs> so you do simple survey. Yeah. Like with surveymonkey.com. It's very it's free. Just mm-hmm. ask questions. People will help you genuinely. 
other way is to go offline for research. Ask people around you. Ask people in your club. Ask people in your society, in your association, that this, uh, this is the project I'm trying to work on, on this book. What do you think about it? And wow. by the time you begin to, you, you sample opinion of first, second, third, fourth, to 10 people, you'll be able to know whether your book will fly or not. Mm. So it is needed. You don't need to write a book for yourself and you now begin to look for a way to what to sell it. Mm. In fact, funny thing is that before you write your book, there are a lot of things you need to do. Like what uh, Chaplain Balogun said the other time, that you have to have a followership and everything. It's not that when you now print the book, you now begin to look for people to buy. That will buy, in yeah. Fact, marketing. A lot of people don't do marketing ahead of publishing. Mm. Of, of publishing. Mm. We are still going to that also. Please type in the comment box if you are learning from this webinar. Type there, encourage us, encourage us so that we can dish out more. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Pastor Yede Jebunisa. All right. Another thing is, what gives a book wide appeal to your readers? You know, what are the things that your readers are really looking for in your book before they buy it? Is it truly well written? That's where the, the question of the professional is coming in. Have you ever seen the way you just pick a book, about 200 pages, and you are eating the book? You are reading the book. You don't want, you don't to, want to leave it. the book. <laughs> you don't want to drop it. <laughs> yes, Something is in that book. Hmm. That person has appealed to you as a reader. Absolutely. And you finish it. Hmm. So, another thing is, does it feel a definite need? Because you can't just, just write your book. It must do something in the life of people. Absolutely. It must be valuable. It must do something in the life of people that are reading it. Does it include benefit? information not found in other books or presented in a new way. That's why you see people writing, I mean, relationship coach. Now you are a relationship coach one, this relationship coach two, two of you author a book. Something must be different from your own to that. Be. What's that thing that I need to buy your own? Yes. Why should I buy yours? Yeah. So does it include that benefit? That's part of the thing people are looking for in your book. Another thing is that is the author held that well known? or an expert in his or her field. We will still go to the area of uh, uh, building author's platform. But this is it. That's why I said that you don't need, it's not when you now print your book, that's when people now begin to know you. No, people are supposed to know you, add value to their life before you now bring book and say you want to sell. Mm. Another one, does the author have a strong platform and an even stronger marketing plan? Mm. Those are the things that readers are looking for. Those are the things readers are looking for. Another mistake, mistake five, is not building your author's brand. Wow, mm. this is deep. This one, this one this can one take a is whole. Another thing. It, it can this. Like, I know this one that you just uh, uh, mentioned now can take a whole lot of this. Just yeah, but uh, <laughs> just I, try I to see, I'm just, compress. I just try to uh, <laughs> compress to now. What is a brand? Mm. Now your brand is a blend of your skill. Mm. Talent, value, beliefs, reflective through your writing, your online presence, and offline interaction. Wow. It is also an indication of your values to your readers, wow. professionals, and influencers, and other key players in your topic area. Mm. So brands are built in three ways, by wow. your words, by images, and by action. Let me, it's more than, let me, it's more than me, logo. Okay. Hold on, sir. Let me show, let me bring up my video and, and, and give it a dove. Let me dove my cap there. Show, <laughs> sir. <laughs> so, the, the, it's, it's branding is, is more than the logo, my yeah. color. It's more than that. Sure. In fact, mm. branding is you. Yeah. Branding is you. Mm. Now, if you look at the brand of, uh, iPhone, what does it speak? Mm. Apple. It's Apple. It's big prestige. Mm. Mm. That's why their phone is very what? Expensive. It's, it's very high. Mm. So those are the kind of thing. It's not really uh, that that value is 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 is, is the main thing. Mm. Now, now there are seven ways to build your brand. I just want to. They, they, they are more than this, but this seven way will just help you through. One, identify your ideal reader. We've talked about that. In, uh, in the last one. Now, develop your brand voice. Like mm. I said, you're a relationship coach. 
the other person is also a relationship coach. What's your voice? The way you speak. What are the things when people when you say it, they know that you are the one that say it. Mm. So you need to define your what your brand voice. Also, figure out your unique selling point. In fact, in your book, you mm. write a book. Another mm. person write the same book, maybe the same topic. Some your own something must be unique in your book. Absolutely. That that's 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 how to build your brand. Mm. Know your need. The way people, some authors, they just want to be jack of all trade. Mm. Today, you are writing a relationship. Tomorrow, you receive a, maybe a message for children. <laughs> Next one is fiction you want to write. <laughs> Another, so you are just, in fact, people, your readers, what? They will get they tired. Will just, they will get tired of you. What of, okay, so let, me, let me ask to, a question okay. there, sir. What okay. of, um, a situation where some people, because I know a lot of people that does that, that uh, okay. although I see them as information marketer, they are talking about uh, okay. Facebook. Tomorrow, they are talking about YouTube. Tomorrow, they are talking about mini importation. Next, tomorrow, it, uh, it's about uh, another thing. How do, okay. you, how do you define that? Like the idea of uh, somebody talking about Facebook, talking about YouTube, talking about Instagram, talking about it. That very niche is a niche on uh, money making. You understand? Mm -hmm. That very niche is the person is correct. Is is the niche in the what in the money making? They still mm -hmm. go hand in hand. Now the way you would have, uh, that would have, uh, would have say it is that somebody you are writing on about money making today. The next thing you are writing about uh, weight loss. Okay. You know the niche is different from each other. Absolutely. That is why on. On Amazon, general, or, or Amazon and other international platform, there is no way you can. You are, you are writing on this. Uh, maybe you are you are writing on social media now, and you say you want to write on relationship. That's why they allow you to, to use pen name, but they will not approve your book. They know that okay, this are the is take is a relationship coach, and okay. that's what they are. That's what they know him for. But now today, I just received another message that oh, now let do fiction. About fantasy, ah, mm. they just look what they won't, won't they won't approve it under your name. They will just advise you to do what go and get a pen name. And mm. using a pen name is not a crime. Mm. It's not a crime. So mm -hmm. you need to know your niche. This is how to build your brand. Okay, sir. Okay, for example, look at my Mudok. Okay. Most of his book is on what? On wisdom. Wisdom, yeah. Miles Moreau is on John, purpose. John Maxwell is on leadership. Leadership, yes. Mm. Every of his books on what's on leadership. Mm. Those are the kind of niche you take for yourself. Okay, Another what's your advice? Your brand, so, sorry you to for, build your leadership. Okay. Okay, sorry for cutting you okay. there. And uh, now, now, what's your no advice problem. for uh, professional pastors? You know, some people are professionals in their field area of specialization. They are also right. pastors, and okay. uh, they can okay. write something about gospel books. Yeah, mm -hmm. they can also yeah. write about business. What yes. do you, what is that advisable and also acceptable on, on Amazon platform? Very, very, very advisable because the book you are writing on business. If you look at about the book, your profile on it give you authority to speak on that line. Nobody okay. we 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 go against that. Okay, you can write it. And as a pastor, even all the pastor, you cannot write on every area. Uh, sure. There are some pastor that they are calling is what is different from each other. So okay. write on your calling. Mm. Like me now, me now prayer, prayer investment. I know <laughs> prayer investment, <laughs> prayer so, and business. So yeah. anything you buy, oh, prayer and business. You understand? <laughs> is is what and people know you for that. Absolutely. You have an audience for prayer, mm. and I know you have audience for your business. Sure, sure. is that not it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So you you can cover it and people know you your brand. You build that brand on that area. Mm. So then apply your brand everywhere you go. So <laughs> be consistent with your brand. Okay. That's another thing. Just be consistent. With, be consistent with it. Continue with it the way it is. Uh, build your brand. Be consistent. Not that uh, after the maybe you are successful with one book, you just stop posting to people. Mm. And let me tell you, people are not mad. They know. They know if you want to use them, 
Maybe mm. they know whether it's their money you want to get. So you have to be consistent. Keep on giving the value with mm. your brand. Mm. So this one will take us, okay, okay. I, I just, I, I added this, uh, some checklist. You need to just tick okay. about author's, author's brand. You may get them at once, but it's, it's a step by step. Okay. Now, get a main logo, graphics of font, it can be graphics or font base. Now, like Tayo uh, Balogun, you know that your logo on your YouTube channel and yes. everything is a brand. Then, then brand color, let's yeah. have your color. Then brand font mm. is all is also acceptable. Then brand tagline, what is it? Mm. Your signature phrase, what is it? Mm. Try to do what, get it. Then your website and blog, mm. try to get it also. Then your social media accounts, try also to do what. For example, okay, like like your uh, I'll use for example, look at your all your your page on Facebook, your page on YouTube. You mm. can see the way you brand everything. Yes, it's needed. Mm. Mm. I don't even know why you need to print your second book now. When you yeah. print your second book, you don't have any people will buy it. Sure, because you're already building your what your brand. Mm. So, also Facebook cover, professional headshot, business mm. cards, signature mm. graphics. Book mockups, then mm. domain name, then professional email account. Those so are the you need to you uh, some of our, our viewers are not a professional like you. This professional <laughs> headshot, you need to explain that, and also graphic signature and mock uh, book mock mockups. Like okay. we we understand uh, that it's like you, are you understand it. Me, it you know, your, your, your professional <laughs> headshot is just the. The kind of uh, shot you put down if, if, on your there's a particular picture. Can, oh, can you show us your headshot? That very picture you normally use okay. for everything. Yes, yes, yes. So, yes. so when people see that ah, this type of, even before the before people put glasses on, they know that ah, this uh, that, uh this type of balogun. So these are your professional headshot. Get a good camera uh, shot and let's have that. Okay. So that that that's the headshot. I know everybody know business card. Mm. signature graphics that is when you have your logo on things generally on your cup on your t-shirt and everything like that okay. book mock-ups is when you have your book initially and they turn it to a mock-ups or e-cover or 3d so, or 3d in yeah. fact mm. thank you that's the lemon 3d <laughs> yes, so yes. then domain name now mr taiwo is uh www dot taiwobalogun.com taiwobalogun.com that's it Yes, they have a professional good. email account to that. Yes, sir. Now, the sixth one, I think we're about to finish. Okay. You're able to rush the whole thing. Yes. Now, no promotion, no marketing. Promotion and marketing, I just try to bring them together because they, they work hand in hand together. Okay. So sir. now, let me just give us 25 ways to run through these 25 ways to promote and market your book. Okay. You need to promote your book. And promoting your book is not starting from the time you just finish your book. In fact, I can, if you want to write a book, you want to bring it out in July. Start your promotion from now. Let it be a month ahead. Mm. Let it just be a month ahead. So whatever you want to do, do it within that time. Begin to tell people about, about your book. Maybe you create WhatsApp, start having WhatsApp group for it. Maybe I remember a story of uh, one of my uh, my sister-in-law was telling me this, the period of uh, BBM. So this BBM group, this woman on that BBM, she normally shares story mm. every is it every every day or she just shares story often, and mm. people like that. Now, if that woman just bring out a book, in fact, there's a community I am on on Facebook group. The lady, the young lady. She 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 writes stories, and before you know it, people are, a lot of people are on that very over thousands of people on that very uh, that very group. That when they post a story like this, people will read it. We are asking for more, and mm. whenever lady, this lady sent that she's uh, uh, she just do another book, buy it, come and see how people begin to buy. Mm. So start now, before you even your book, start now. Mm. Before start, you begin start to write the marketing book, start before now. writing. Start the promotion, start the marketing now. Mm. Now, these are some of the things you 
Okay, oh, hold let on, me start let me... from 20... Okay. Oh, sorry, viewers, we lost internet connection at a point, so uh, although we'll soon wrap up, but uh, let Mr. Uh, Oyatek we continue from where we had internet issue. Thank you, sir. Over to you. So, 25 ways to promote and market your book. I said, post, tweet about your book regularly. Now, make a book trailer. I said, one of the way, if you are a person that, uh, you know, uh, the guys working your church as the media, media group tell them you want to do a book trailer, they will do it for you. Because it's just the same way you do your news in church, the way you do your, your production in church, they will help you out. Then ask your reader to send in images of them with your book. This one is when your book is out. So ask them to send the image of your book. Then do a presentation at a local meeting, meetup group. Maybe your association and everything. Tell them that you want to do a presentation. But now the presentation is not that you want to sell the book, but you can say something about in uh, about your book in it. So I just say that everything I've said here is from my book. They are the one that will tell you, okay, uh, let me see the book. How much is it? Not that you are imposing the book on them. You know, they have to come and present something. Mm. So create a Create a post at your book on social media accounts. So then make a series of how-to videos. Now, I, I cite the example of uh, you are in a relationship uh, niche. Just look at all those how-to videos, how-to, how-to, maybe mm. just series. So you send it on your YouTube and Facebook, then send an email to your list. Give them a reason to buy. Yeah, that is, if, that is if they have You can boost it. Because if some you people don't really know because full ad. Uh, I said that is yeah. Uh, that is when the author has a yeah, list. Yeah, they have list. Yeah, uh, because some people don't yeah. have list. They give away for your book from your website or Facebook. Put something inside your book that encourage people to, to sign up for your email. Okay. Am I, am I on? Yes, you are on. It's just I that know, your yeah, it's just that your line, your audio is breaking little by little. But right on. You said we should put something in her. Uh, Lara Olumide is laughing because in, I said in your book. Yes, <laughs> it's true. Now we should. Uh, so, uh, Mister Oyatek, we said how to. So you know, some men don't know how to toast ladies. So we should uh, include that. Yeah. How to how to toast a babe? How to have a successful marriage? No, successful. that very topic is selling. Wow. That very topic is selling online everywhere abroad in Nigeria. If you mean how to toast? And right, a lot. You know how to do that money. How to how to re, re, yes. toast? It. I think it's I should, selling. Maybe I should dive into that one too now. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Mr. Thomas Adeniyi. Yes, me too. <laughs> okay, Mr. So, Thomas. Thank you, sir. All right, right on, sir. <laughs> I don't so create a series of YouTube videos where okay. the where the author sits reading small section of the book. Start a Facebook group. Get as many video testimonials as you can post. Mm. Use discussion forum on your topic. In mm. fact, add resources and extra goodies at the back of your book so that people can download people from you. Then if you have an email list, then create an autoresponder sequence so that we fill with the story based on your book. Do a book signing the traditional way, run a virtual book tour, create short presentation and put them on slide share. It's an online uh, slide uh, uh, site okay. for free. Then yeah. run Facebook Live. Like what we are doing now, you can do something like this, talk about your book, share something. You can do that also. Then take your book along. Oh, something is missing there. But... Create a movement. Okay, what I okay, what I'm trying to say there is that you take your book along everywhere you go. Let it be in your book. I mean, in your in your in your in your car, mm. and even if you go for wedding ceremony, have your book. Tell people about your book. So mm. the last one is create a movement around your book. Finally, the mistake authors made is not building authors platform. Mm. These are also a course on its own, but I, I've just paraphrased it so that we really understand what it, uh, we're talking about. Now, what is a, pa a platform? If you want to sell a lot of your books and become successful as an author, you need to have an author's platform. Mm. It's a long time process that doesn't end. You can move at your own pace. Mm. 
Nobody's rushing you. Using only those tools and strategy you feel comfortable with. Mm. On this author's platform, one of the thing, one of the benefit of it is that you can print your book free of charge with this mm. platform. What do I mean? I remember some years back, I think about oh, it's over seven years now. One of my one of the author I work with, her name is uh, Yabo Yawale. He's talk about internet. I know you know you know her. Yes, yes. So she called me that day. Most of all the authors that I work with, I'm always among their tribe. I I will be on their email list. I'm on their social media. I follow them. Okay. So every so every of their progress, I know about it. So mm. she just called me that. Mr. Kola, I want us to work on this book. How long will this book be ready? And I said, okay, for this book, everything, the way it is now, it's ready uh, in a week's time. Mm. We finish the editing and everything, design everything, so just to go to press. Okay. Already, this woman has been talking about this book on a platform, dishing out good, valuable messages. So he now said that a book will come out in two weeks' time. You know, I told him it's one week I will do. So mm. that, you know, that's something we call printer's devil. But mm. uh, we know how to overcome <laughs> overcome yes. me. Absolutely. So she just said that, said people, you want to pre-order the book, mm. you pre-order the book. When the book will be out, it's going to cost maybe 3,000 naira. But if you pre-order now, it's 2,000 or one mm. five. Come mm. and see how people begin to pay. Wow. So now, People pay. In fact, we've not been, we've not gone to the press. We've not. <laughs> people pay. After people pay, she pay me my own part. Mm. I deliver book to her, and she send all the books. You know, I send the book a week before the remaining week that she has. Uh, she she promised, she promised. people. Okay. And before you know it, she, I deliver, and mm. within that we just say the book is out now. Before the one week is talk about. And she began, she began to send the books to all those people that have paid. Now, wow. one thing about this is that this woman has, she built a platform. In fact, not one, not two. I have many of them like that. Let me come in here, sir. Um, if you have a question for Mr. Oyatikbe on the topic we're talking about, please drop your question because we'll be wrapping up very shortly. I can see uh, Mr. Thomas Adeni's comment. Uh, okay. Yes, it says on point, Mr. Oyatekbe, letting people know the USP on the author's platform prior to the launch. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it just buttressed your pointer. So if you have so, a question, please drop your question in the comment box. We appreciate you for your watching this uh, uh, program with us. Okay, sir. So what is an author's platform? Now, now I just use that story to so that you know the, the benefit of author's platform. When you have that platform, let me tell you something. In fact, this is the same thing pastors are using. Mm. Because pastors, they have their congregation as their platform. Mm. And they know that they, they benefit from the pastor every Sunday or every time the man come on the pulpit. They consume all is what? The value the man is giving. So whenever the man is out to, to sell the book, they have no choice than to what? Right. To, to buy the book. So an author's platform can be described as everything you are doing online and offline to create awareness about who you are and what you do so you can boost your brand visibility and make it easier and faster for your target audience and even the general public to discover and connect with, with your, your brand, brand and book. Wow. I like the way there's a publishing, one foreign publisher talks about it, Jane Fredman. He sa she said, uh, author platform can be defined as the ability to sell books because of you because you are who, sorry, uh, the ability who you to are. sell books because of who you are or oh, who you can okay. reach. Mm. So that, that's how the, the lady uh, talk about it. Mm. So I'll just give us three ways to just set up an author's platform. Okay. Now, the first one is just set up your author's website or blog. Okay. And it's very uh, in simple. your name. Or in, in your name because, or, for oh, example, hold on, sir. I used to okay. see people when they want to launch a book. In fact, most of aspiring authors or first time authors, that's what they do. They will just register the domain in the name of that book. Is it right? Or in the author's name? 
Well, one, it is it's, it's also right, but this is it. Now, the person, may, it may be that the person doesn't want to continue maybe as, a, as, a, as an author. Okay. Do you understand? Okay. For example, you have your own personal website. Yes. Now, you can talk on that website that you are, you are an author. Okay. But it's still necessary also to now get the book in your, in your in your get the book domain. In fact, the tools are necessary. Okay. Because I believe before even you pray, uh, you, you get your book, your name is already on the domain first. Okay. So now it now depends on the strategy you want to use for your book. It's better you still have the domain name in the name of the book. Okay. okay. You can have the two. Okay. You can have the two. Okay. Sir. Yeah, you can have the two. Okay. So, so register your domain. It's very simple. Just go to namecheap.com. Name as in name, cheap, okay. as in C-H-E-A-P, your domain. I mean, just register your account there. And it's already now they are still giving out uh, free. I mean, discounts is about eight eight point something dollars. If you don't you don't know how to do it, go to YouTube. Just say how to register domain with namecheap.com. That a tutorial will teach you straight. Because mm -hmm. I normally tell people that your domain name, be, let it be you that you register it, because your domain name is like the certificate of your company. Mm -hmm. So another thing is that. Buy your hosting package, then you design your website blog. No, the context of this very uh, training will not be able to go into because yes. this is a, this is another course, <laughs> another course on its own. Yes. But I just give you those are the way to do it. Then another thing: start building your email list now. Okay. Now there are three things needed for your. I mean, three major things. The first one is lead magnet or ethical bribe. What that means that. If you want to build your list, you need to have something to give out to people free of charge. Mm. You can give out maybe a sample chapter of your book or you write a part another book for the purpose of giving it out. And when people come to your landing page, which is the next one, landing or squeeze page, that's when they now put in their name and the email or their phone number or anything you want to collect. By the time they put it there, you now give them lead magnet or the ethical bribe in exchange. Okay. Then the processor or some the machine that do the old stuff is autoresponder. Okay. Now, autoresponder, we have many of them, many. We have a Weber, I've used a Weber for years, get response also. I've used get when they when they, when they, when they started also. Now, uh, this this other one, sweet sending. Well, it's just our our home brand is what we are working on in our company now. Okay, it's your because product. Apart from publishing, is my it is my product. We 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 we, we are already we will, we, what? we will charge you for this advert anyway. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Right though. No, you, you, you are <laughs> <laughs> so we are Sandy we are waiting the, for it seriously. Okay, Street okay. Sandy is the one that is a uh, that is. Uh, we are on the stage of final beta testing. We are testing now, finally. Okay. And why do we come out with uh, Swiss Sandy? Because I've been using Uber for, for over 10 years. The reason is this, is that I find out now that the money for this thing, by the time you begin to get 5,000 list, 10,000, that's when you know that you be, yeah. what, what you'll be paying. Exactly. So, but with Swiss Sandy, we now, we now try to cut some cost with the way, because you are hosting it, on yourself, you are you are your own a weber. You are okay. your own get respond. Okay. So that's just it. We're okay. on the last stage. I know by the time it's ready, uh, Chaplin, Tao Balu movies we still come over. I will to, be one of yeah. your influencer no, marketers. Uh, yes, sir. I know. <laughs> yeah. So I know by June we we roll, we roll it out by June. Someone so have a question are, here. All right. Uh, how can an author get things done right at this period of lockdown? Any possibility oh, of breakthrough this period? In fact, this yes. period, in fact, do you know the funniest thing is that this period, mm. the business that is thriving more are online businesses. Okay. Do you believe that people are buying things online? Really? Absolutely. People are buying books. E-commerce is fact, the next thing now. Amazon tell us their what the 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 their statistic within this covid uh, period mm. they are selling more than what they used to sell 
Uh-huh. Because people are sitting at home now reading. Yes. People are what? Adding a lot of knowledge to each other. Hmm. So people are what? Adding books, to what they know. Books so books on are how selling to, now. How to books, books will sell a lot. We yes. sell a lot in this period. Hmm. In this period. So Mr. So, Thomas says, especially in Nigeria, where we are having uh, issues, teaching issues as per the e-learning publishing uh, ETC. Yeah. So you can, this is the period to go into e-publishing, especially e-publishing. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, one of the things that uh, ad cover publishing will help you is also to help your brand. And uh, yeah. like Mr. Oyatekbe said, he has shared a lot. You see? So we appreciate you, Mr. Oyatekbe. I don't know how many slides you stay up with us because of time. No, just only one. Okay, okay. The right. last one. Okay, right on, sir. So the last one is just establish a presence on social media. Good. Uh, okay. Go go to uh, Facebook, go to Instagram, go to Twitter, and have your presence there. Okay, sir. Even if you cannot manage all of that, be in one. Even if it's Facebook, yeah, that we have know. over the third uh, congregation yeah. of the whole world, mm. just stay there and go, begin to post and do a lot of things there. Mm. So... Thank you, sir. God I think I've bless come to the, to the end of the you. Thank you. presentation. Thank you, thank you, sir. We appreciate you. We appreciate Mr. Oyatikbe for this wonderful presentation. That was a wonderful one. Ah, we celebrate you, sir. Now, let's see yeah, welcome, if, you have, uh, if you have more questions, please drop your question. So, Mr. Thomas Adeniyi, I believe Mr. Oyatikbe have answered your question. So, Mr. Mr. Thomas is is one is one of my good friend. <laughs> wow, no wonder. <laughs> he's clapping. He's one of my good friends in school. Wow, he's clapping. Yeah, if I he's giving uh, you he's giving you three. I think booster. I see most of them are there. Wow, three booster. Oh, God bless then, you. Uh, <laughs> nice one. God bless you. Thank yes, you. Yes, that's you. my Thank president. You. Wow, wow. <laughs> appreciate you. Appreciate you for for joining this uh, webinar. So, Mr. Yatekbe, we appreciate you and uh, we want to yeah, welcome, pray sir. that the Lord will continue to use you. I know this Amen. is a landmark for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, so we understand. I, yeah, so we need we need to see more of you on live streaming, okay. online, on social media. You are loaded and you can't afford to keep all, these, you, all these things. You need, I've known Thank you, you to be a person that invest in knowledge you are a man that invests in knowledge for over a Thank decade you. we've known for over over 15 years now on the yes. platform of our mentor uh dr jack Baze, success digest jack and uh, yeah. since then you've yes. been investing in knowledge recently we had uh, we had before i went to the u.s we had a, an executive program together where we met there again we reconnected yeah. and you know it was it was very 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 impactful so please all these years of uh, acquiring knowledge, this is the time to dish them out. To and you can, you also make more money. You All make right, more sir. contact. Look at people uh, that are contact. I, I know I can. I have people that are watching from US, UK, uh, and uh, UAE now that would want to connect with you. So please, we we'll need more of you. If we can okay. still schedule a session for next week or in two weeks' time, probably. We'll no be problem. Glad, we'll be glad to have you. And no uh, problem, sir. I want to say kudos to you. Wonderful I'm yours, session. Sir. <laughs> Wonderful session. I appreciate you, sir. Thank and, you, my uh, host. Our viewers, <laughs> can you just give uh, Mr. Yatekbe three bosses? Bag, bag, bag. Oh, we clap. Oh, we are pastors, so make we clap. Wow. Oh, Monique George. Oh, Monique George says, Oh, oh yeah, Baba. Those are my people. Okay. Nice one. Nice one. Oh, there. that's what you call me. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. So, viewers, we celebrate you. We appreciate everyone that I tuned in tonight and uh, pray that God will continue to use you. Please do us a favor. Share this video with your friends, your family members, and let them know that uh, this video is low. Dead. Taiwo Balogun Impact. That's Taiwo Balogun. Then Impact is spelled I M P A C T. So go there if you have not subscribed because I'm also working on 50 ways to make more money as as a speaker or a a a, a preacher, a pastor, a coach, or a trainer or a consultant. If you fall into any of this category, watch out for it. It's a project. 50 ways tested and trusted. Home and abroad. And these are part of the things 
that has taken me across the world, even in the U.S. I went there to speak, to preach, and I came back home. Glory be to God. So, Mr. Yatekbe, thank you very, very much. And if you want to connect with Mr. Yatekbe, sir, I would want you to please give us your email. Yes, yeah. give us your email or Facebook, but your phone number is on the screen. The easiest means to communicate or to contact you. Okay, you can get me on Adekola at mrl.ng. Okay, Adekola at mrl. Adekola at okay. mrl.ng. Okay, or Kola or Yat at gmail.com. Any of the two. Okay, sir. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, do say a wonderful regards to your family on behalf of Taiwo hey, Balogun. Thank you so much. On behalf of me, my thank wife, so much. and my children, and the ministry that God has committed our care, we appreciate you so much. So do have a thank wonderful so day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. And you too.